Hey everyone, welcome back to the second video in my Arduino microclimate sensor series. Today we're going to be extending off of the last video and we're going to be taking three of these Dallas temperature sensors and combining them and working the code so we can pull data from all three of them simultaneously. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, we're going to need three Dallas temperature sensors like so. We're going to need one breadboard and we're also going to need one Arduino. Next, we're gonna need three green jumper cables. I like to use green for data. We're going to need three black jumper cables, three reds, and one purple. And because of the way these Dallas temperature sensors can be hooked up and all go back to one pin on the Arduino, this is the pin that we're gonna to use to take and feed all of the data from each sensor from the green wires into the purple and then the purple will feed it into the Arduino. And then we're also gonna need three 10,000 ohm resistors. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to get all three of our temperature sensors hooked in. I like to put them more along the outer um the inner edge along this channel in the middle of my board like so and in the order of power data ground. And then I'll come over here and do the same thing for this power power, data, and ground. And for the last one as well. Okay, so now for all of these, we can see that all three of these are hooked in the order power, data, ground, power, data, ground, power, data, ground. So we're good to go there. We're gonna take and kind of put these off to the side. And now the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to put our 10K resistors, put one of them with the, one of them in the same line row as the power and the other is in the same as the data. It's just like the first video for a single sensor. We're just expanding it now to three and we're maintaining the same kind of we're maintaining the same kind of build structure for each circuit. Alright. Oops. Slightly messed this one up. And you want to make sure when we're doing this that we leave a we leave this A column. We want to make sure we leave that alone. Because that's where we're gonna want to put all of our pins so things are easy to see. Now, once we've got the resistors in place, just like this, the one leg of the resistor is in uh, line with the power and the other leg is in line with the data for each one of these. And now the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get our grounds plugged in. So black goes to black. Um, black goes to ground, so we want to make sure that we get those in the ground of our power strip. And we're going to want to go ahead and get the, well let's do the data next. 
I just realized that we're going to need one more power and one more ground jumper wire because I didn't take into account needing to jump from the power strips on the side of the breadboard to the Arduino itself. Okay, now with this setup, the each of the ground pins is grounded on the breadboard and each of the data pins is feeding back into this same column, this, uh, well, this row eight. And now the next thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and power each of these by plugging it into the power column on the breadboard. And so now this is what we have. The last thing that we need to do for the data is to take this and put this one in line with all of the other ones so they're all in the same row. And now we'll leave this one blank for just a second. So now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our Arduino and pow, uh, put one of the red jumpers into the five volts and one of the black jumpers into the ground. So now we're gonna to wanna to take it and put it over here, just like this. Put the ground on the ground side and the power on the power side. And we're gonna to wanna to take our data pin and put that into pin three on the Arduino. And now this is the basics of everything we need for our circuit. Now we're gonna go and edit the code and see how we need to change the code from one sensor to three. And it's really not that hard. It's actually a little bit of copy and paste and that's about it. So let's go over and see okay, the code. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up our GitHub file. The link is in the description if you wanna go ahead and download my files for this project. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up this single Dallas hookup and we're going to want to duplicate this and the way the Arduino IDE works we have to make sure that the folder name is the same exact thing as the name of the code on the inside so we need to make sure that's the same so we want to get rid of that copy that the Mac creates and now we want to open up the single Dallas code and Arduino is going to want to prepare the all the packages and everything so now this is what we have we're going to want to copy and paste all of this into a new file that's not the right thing command a copy and paste okay so now we can close this single Dallas and we can come over here to this one and we're going to want to go ahead and save it as um, we'll name it 3 Dallas temp uh, sensors 3 Dallas temp sensors so that's what we're going to name this and actually save as and we're going to want to go to desktop and save it there instead of in the documents so now this is everything we're going to need for this one and we'll call this three 
Dallas temp. And we're going to go ahead and put everything in this folder. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to want to run the one wire address finder once we get the Arduino hooked up. And if you don't have the one wire library or the Dallas temperature library, you'll want to refer to the last video as to how to get those. There's nothing too crazy you have to do, you just have to go up to you have to go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and just search for each of these two. But so we're gonna go ahead and run this one wire address finder. And we well, one thing we have to do is we have to make sure that our board that we're using is the Arduino Uno or whichever board you're using to do this. And we want to make sure that we have the port. So this should work now. It's going to upload and we're going to want to open our serial monitor. And let's go ahead and reset the Arduino. Okay, so these are the three individual addresses for each of the Dallas sensors that we're using. So we're gonna the first thing we're gonna want to do is go ahead and expand this a little. The first thing we're gonna want to do is copy and paste this so we have three device addresses. Now the first device address right here, we're going to want to copy it. And then come over here and paste. So that's our first device address. And we're going to want to do the same thing for each of the other two. We're going to want to copy and paste. And for the third one, we're going to do the exact same thing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And so now we have the three addresses for each of our temperature sensors. So that's all we need the one wire address finder for. So we're good there. And now we're going to go and we're going to make a couple alterations to the void setup. The first thing we're going to want to do is copy this sensor set resolution function. And we're going to want to go ahead and do that for Dallas 2 and 3. And one thing I'm realizing that I forgot to do up top is rename each of these. So we're going to want to go ahead and rename each of these really quick, Dallas 1, Dallas 2, Dallas 03, we're going to rename them like that. And then we're going to come down here in the void setup and we're going to rename, well we're going to duplicate this sensor resolution with each of our three Dallas sensors and we're going to set the resolution for each of those. And now we're going to come down here to the void loop and we're going to copy this. And we're going to go and change the names of each, like the variable for each sensor that we're pulling from, because we don't want to, we don't want to pull off on the same sensor each time. We want to make sure we're pulling from each individual sensor with its own specific address. And there's nothing else that we have to do in this void. Yeah, there's nothing else that we have to do here in this function. So now let's run this code and see how things go. So we can see that each temperature sensor is recording and they're all printing to the screen at the same time. We can do a little bit of uh, printing up 
of the data and we can do some print line type things like this and this is going to give us a space and then um, we can do another serial dot print line oops command z um, and we're actually we're not going to do a print line we're just going to do a print um, sensor one and that will give us that and we're going to copy and paste this just like so and now let's see how this comes out this will separate each pull from the sensors each time it runs the void loop it'll separate it with this dash line and it's telling us which sensor is which and which temperature cor uh, correlates to each sensor so that's pretty much it that's how you alter the code and that's how you set up the sensors and connect them to the Arduino if you have any questions please feel free to drop any questions in the comment section and I will try my best to answer those for y'all. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed.